Welcome to the Fregelli Automations YouTube channel. Today we're going to figure out how to diagnose and test our synchronous control boxes with optical sensor actuators. As you can see, that was the intended use case. Green light all the way through, it only flashes to indicate that it is operating. In this shot, we're seeing it during the calibration sequence. We have a steady flashing orange light through the entire motion until we return back to home position. This is what it's supposed to look like. So what about when that's not the case? Well, unbeknownst to me, I actually have a bad actuator in this two actuator setup, and it is not the one that's disconnected. I was intending to show you that not having a sensor connection to the actuator will mess up the whole system, but it turns out that not having a sensor connected here means that both actuators did not have a sensor connection. So. You want to make sure all the wires are metal to metal, solidly connected in their little green cradles, otherwise the sync box will not know what to do. Speeding it up a little so you don't have to watch me connect these. Test number two. So it should be working, but you'll notice that steady flashing red light. That's telling me that something's wrong. See how the actuators are stopping after only a moment? That red light is telling us that we are uh, encountering an issue. So taking off the cover so you can see, we're going to send it back to home. And now, oh, that one didn't retract all the way. All right, that is telling me more information. It turns out that one is actually our bad actuator. I just did not know it at this point. So we're homed up. They're even. We're going to send it through the calibration routine, or at least we're going to try. You'll notice that close actuator stopped again. The sync box did not get data back from the sensor on the actuator, which means it doesn't think there's an actuator there, which is why that actuator stopped. That one is currently connected into carriage number two, bringing them both back home. What I'm going to do here, uh, recheck the wires, switch the carriage positions relative to the sync box. So now that actuator is in position one. See? There we go and run the calibration again, and the same actuator stopped, which tells me that it is that actuator, not the other one. At this point, we have determined that our synchronous control box is okay, and one of the sensors inside one of the actuators is the problem. So I've pulled the bad actuator off of the sync box, and now we're gonna check out the sensor to see if we can identify the problem. Access the optical sensor by removing the three base plate screws at the bottom of your actuator. You can see the PCB with the optical encoder wheel and sensor underneath there. The green, blue, and yellow wires are the ones for the sensor. The red and black just feed the motor. So examine your optical encoder wheel for debris or damage. Sometimes they can rub. That'll cause plastic shavings to get all over the sensor area, and that can keep it from reading. This one doesn't have that problem. I'm testing the uh, wire connections here. They seem fairly solid. Uh, the glue holding them in place is a little little loose, but it's not causing a connection issue. I'm going to show you what the optical sensor looks like in action real quick here with the base plate removed. All right, so now that I've tried everything and I cannot see any obvious issues with this optical sensor, I'm going to pull the whole PCB out. Two tiny Phillips head screws hold it into the actual body of the actuator. Um, not recommended to pull this out unless you are sure you can get it back together or sure that it is broken. Pulling this out. Still pulling this out. These screws take forever because I haven't sped up this footage yet. The optical sensor is now out and I'm taking a look at the PCB board. I'm spotting it for any heat damage, any corrosion, or any worn connections or damaged solder. And if you look at the dead center of the board there, that looks like some damage. That is the sticky wicket. That is what is keeping the sensor from working.